Hi, I'm Angela Fleischman, a physician researcher from the University of California, Irvine, and I'd like to share with you some exciting recent findings from my lab and our plans to develop this into a clinical trial testing the widely available antioxidant nutraceutical N-acetylcysteine in a very rare blood cancer called myeloproliferative neoplasms. I've dedicated my career to finding new treatments for patients with myeloproliferative neoplasms, or MPN for short. Although MPN is rare, affecting only about one in a thousand people, it has many similarities to a recently identified precancerous state that's seen in about 25% of people over the age of 65. Treatments that we identify for MPN could possibly then be expanded to this wider population of precancerous patients to prevent blood cancers. MPN happens when a blood stem cell develops a mutation which leads to uncontrolled protection of blood cells. There are three major clinical issues in MPN. One, thrombosis or blood clots, which in some cases can be life-threatening. Two, debilitating symptoms such as itching and fatigue, which can neg negatively affect patients' quality of life. And third, MPN patients can develop an acute leukemia. And when they do, this has a very dismal prognosis. There are real trade-offs for our current treatments of MPN. We do have some treatments that prevent thrombosis, but unfortunately, some of these can actually worsen symptoms. And even more alarmingly, it's possible that long-term use of some of these medications can actually increase one's risk of leukemia. In the symptom realm, we have JAK inhibitors, which work pretty well, however, not without a very high price tag on the order of about $8,000 a month. Moreover, JAK inhibitors also have a significant side effect profile, including low platelets, immunosuppression, and an increased risk of skin cancers. It's obvious that we desperately need low-cost, low-risk treatments for MPN patients that address all the major issues in this disease. What if I told you that there's a low-cost, widely available, over-the-counter supplement called N-acetylcysteine that has strong preclinical evidence that it could be helpful for all three major clinical issues in MPN? In our lab, we recently found that NAC rescues a mouse model of MPN from deadly blood clots. Usually these mice die at about age three months from their blood clots. However, simply by adding N-acetylcysteine to their water, now some of these mice can live a full lifespan. A few years ago, we did an online survey of, N of over 1,300 MPN patients, asking about their dietary habits, including supplements, as well as their symptom burden. In green, this means that the patient taking these supplements had a lower symptom burden. You can see that patients taking N-acetylcysteine had a lower symptom burden than those not taking N-acetylcysteine. N-acetylcysteine can be considered an amino acid, and as you see, people taking amino acids had a lower symptom burden than MPM patients not taking amino acids. NAC is a known potent antioxidant. This means that it can prevent the DNA damage that leads to leukemia. We are proposing a 22-week clinical trial of NAC in 50 patients with MPN. Our primary outcome is reduction in symptom burden. This is of key importance to MPN patients. Our secondary outcome is normalization of biomarkers of blood clots. There is a quick completion time for this study. We plan to enroll 50 patients by the end of 2021. Although this is a rare disease, over the past seven years, I've developed a relationship with a cohort of MPN patients who is eager to participate in my studies. We plan to publish our results in early 2022. Because NAC is an over-the-counter, widely available supplement, this means that it could be widely adopted by MPN patients pretty much immediately after publication. We are able to execute this 50-patient clinical trial with only $50,000 because M NAC is such a low cost and easily obtainable compound. Our team has the expertise that we need to complete this study in a short time frame. Me, I'm a physician scientist who has been committed to MPN for the past 15 years. 
As a physician scientist, I have the unique ability to translate my findings in the lab into clinical trials for patients that I care for in the clinic. For me, there is nothing lost in translation. At UC Irvine, we are very for fortunate to have Susan O'Brien, a world expert in clinical uh, cancer uh, trials, leading our cancer clinical trial unit. And on the technical side, we have a very talented graduate student, Bree Craver, who's over the past few years developed and mastered sophisticated laboratory tests for assessing blood clotting in MPN patients and MPN models. This is the exact type of project that should be funded through Cures Within Reach, so critical because it may not have commercial value. The low cost and proven safety of NAC means it could be adopted immediately. This impact could be immense for MPN patients. The return on, MPN, the return on investment for each donated dollar of these patients is priceless. Moreover, NAC has the potential for a much wider use for cancer prevention, even in uh, healthy people. And lastly, on behalf of University of California, Irvine and the Fleischmann Lab, I'd like to thank you for listening to my talk, and I hope to get your vote.